We're gonna turn this empty room into our office. For those of you who are new to the channel, Ben and I build custom gaming PCs and then we film the process and then upload videos on social media, including YouTube, Instagram, and basically everywhere else. We recently relocated from Iowa all the way to Texas, so we are in a need of a new office setup. If you've been with us before, you'll know we already did an office setup for our old house, so if you haven't seen that, you can go back and watch that to see how this setup is different from that setup. But let me show you what we're working with here. So the office is this way. It's got the double French doors and a lot of light. It's not bigger and not smaller than our old office. So width-wise, it's a little bit wider, but length-wise, it's actually a little bit more shallow. So we had a lot of furniture in our old office, and I'm not sure if all of it's gonna fit. But setup plan is kind of the same. So Ben's setup, l desk is gonna be here. He has a 90-foot desktop. It should fit, probably, we'll see. And then my setup will be on this side. So same his and hers setup. Stick around to see how we turn this empty room into our office. That I forgot the words. Anyway, I want to follow you. Cheers! Woo! Our stuff has arrived, but the room is a disaster. So the movers just came and threw everything in here. Our wall panels for our wall have also arrived. So that means that we're going to get everything out of this room and then start putting our office back together. Step one. Get out of these pajamas. <laughs> oh, okay. In our last office video, we also use wood veneer hub. At the time we had purchased our own wood veneer hub panels and put them up in our office. If you wanna see that video, we'll have it linked in the description. But this time we reached out to wood veneer hub and asked them if they would kindly send us some more wood slap panels. This is not a paid sponsorship, but wood veneer hub did send us all the wood slap panels for this office. Last time in our office, we used American oak. This time we're gonna do walnut. So a little bit moodier. Let's unbox it. As you can see, the panels are very well packed. None of them are damaged. One of the boxes is just a little scraped up. Overall, very easy unboxing. When you order wood veneer hub slap panels, they come in two panels per box. So that's something to keep in mind when you're doing the math to figure out how many that you're gonna get. And of course, with all the products that are in our videos, the links will be in the description box below. So if you wanna get your own slap panels, you'll find it in the little box. This is the only box that we're a little concerned about because it got damaged in shipping, but it does have foam right here, so I think it'll be fine. So basically what we're trying to do is kind of figure out like the spacing. We measured it already and kind of decided we had two different options on whether we want one or two panels on this wall and then either three or five panels on this wall so ben and i kind of disagree so we're just experimenting to see with what look we like a little bit better better now let's try the other corner of the room my side all right guys we're all done that's how you install wood veneer hub slap panels just kidding. The installation is almost that easy, but not quite. So it doesn't come with any tools, but basically you can screw straight into the drywall or you can screw into studs too. But we'll just grab some black screws that'll blend in with our felt and you'll just drill it right into the wall. So 
some science person explain this. First panel is up, so as you can see, it's super easy to install these. They're very light, so it doesn't take much to hold them up. I've seen people put them up with adhesive. We use these drywall screws, six by one drywall screws, um, just six into each panel. So two at the top, two in the middle, two at the bottom, and it doesn't move at all. So super easy to install. You can drill straight into the drywall also, so you don't need a stud finder to like find studs. Since it's not heavy, it doesn't require you to drill right into a stud. The panels are quite long at 94 inches in length. So for our old place, it was actually too long and we had to cut off maybe about a foot and a half um, for our old place. But because for this place, the ceilings are a little bit taller, we actually do have a little bit of a gap at the bottom, but we don't hate the look. If we really wanted, we do have additional panels which we could cut to size and then kind of fit them in there. Basically, no matter how you stack them, it'll go pretty seamless together. We don't hate the look, I love the look. So this one's gonna be a little bit more complicated. As you can see, there's an outlet here. So if we put the panel here, it's gonna cover the outlet pretty much the whole thing. So we're just gonna cut out, mark it out and cut it out with some power tools. I don't know what it's called. You'll see it. <laughs> Hello, I go, I go. Wood slats are up, so now we gotta put our desk frame together. So it looks like we lost a bag of screws when the movers moved the stock to us. I guess we have to head to Lowe's tomorrow and grab some new screws, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. As with any project, there's always multiple Lowe's trips, but on this trip, we were able to locate screws that were quite similar to the ones we used in our desk, which means we were successfully able to put our desk back together. We chose to go with the same butcher block we had used in our previous office, as the size really still fits this new office. We use a combination of a lot of tools to ensure easy and good cable management. This is our first custom loop water cooling PC. By the end of this video, Ben will have upgraded his system, so stay tuned for the glow up. If you watch our previous setup video, I have a 49 inch ultra wide gaming monitor on my setup, but I decided to upgrade from the Samsung Odyssey G9 monitor to this ROG Strix 42 inch 4K OLED monitor because I much prefer the aspect ratio and also it is an OLED panel. It is also much slimmer, which takes up less of my precious desk space. With any monitor that you plan to mount onto a monitor arm, always ensure that the monitor and the monitor arm are compatible. Otherwise, most likely you want to buy an adapter so that you will be able to use your combination of monitor and monitor arm. Using a monitor stand gives me more surface area to work with and also creates levels so I can organize my desk in a way that makes sense to me and I also prefer the look. Storage-wise, we utilize three IKEA Alex drawers. We slide them under our desk to keep tools out of sight but still close at hand. For audio, I am using the Edifier Bookshop speakers as I really like the aesthetic, especially with the dust cover removed. Not only does it look great, but it also sounds great. Malnyo knew we were setting up a new office, so they reached out and asked if they could send us some products to use on our new desk setup. This is Malnyo low profile monitor arm, and I really like the premium feel of the product as it is made from high quality aluminum. The low profile look allows it to seamlessly integrate into my desk space when not in use. Malno also sent us this PD100X microphone, a great budget option. 
However, I've previously used the PD400X, which offers better sound quality despite being four times the price. I've chosen to continue using the PD400X for recording this voiceover. Lastly, Malno also sent us this audio mixer which is designed to be used by streamers and although I don't stream, I do find myself using some of the features in my day-to-day -day while I'm doing voiceovers or editing videos for you guys. We find that having a monitor light on your desk increases focus and reduces eye strain. I don't think I'll ever set up a desk in the future without some type of desk light. Our type origin sometimes does conference call with clients to walk them through how to build their own PCs or to assist with troubleshooting. So if you ever schedule a call with us, you'll see us using this webcam to chat with you guys. This is the Devoom time skit. I think it looks super cool and it keeps our subscriber count just in my line of sight so we can continue to work hard to get those numbers to the moon. You perfect sent us this 18 inch 2K 144Hz portable monitor for me to use as my secondary display. It is a big upgrade from my previous one and I love having two screens to separate tasks. Now all that left on our felt desk mat are our peripherals such as mouse, keyboards, and my toolbox editing tool. Let's plug all those peripherals into my PC and we're ready to fire it up. Time for some. Ben is finishing up on his side of the setup, so he's just doing some finishing touches. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start up setting up my setup. So if you haven't seen our previous office build, it's gonna be quite similar, but essentially my side is more white, clean aesthetic, with just some text sprinkled in. I don't use my setup for anything too intensive, mainly replying emails and then playing some light games. Let's get it set up. This is a custom loot water cooling PC in a height Y60 case. If you wanna see how I built my PC, the link will be in the description box below. For both me and Ben's setup, I know there's a lot of different components and products that we use, so all of those products will be linked in the description box below, or at least we'll do our best to grab as many links as possible. And we also have links to our Amazon storefront, which breaks down Ben's desk setup and my desk setup for this office and our old office. So if you see anything that you like, you can go to our Amazon storefront. If you make purchases from there, we do get a kickback. So it's a good way to support the channel too if you see something you like. For the microphone setup, me and Ben actually are a little bit different. So I chose to go fully Elgato while his is Mauno. I like the white setup. I think it's pretty. For the speakers, Ben actually copied me, so I have the Edifier speakers as well, with the dust covers removed, of course. And I have these cute little stands. Wow, I did not copy you. You copied me. Desk accessories and peripherals, I do change them out a lot, but I do have the full white setup. Gorgeous. I've got a cobalt toolbox with no tools. I've got a vinyl player that's actually tape. I've got a typewriter that's a label maker. So cute. And this is my giraffe. Cable management montage. Now you see, now you don't. That's the magic of good cable management.
Finishing touches is always lighting, and again, Gobi has not noticed us, but it's never too late. Hi, Gobi! Ta-da! This is an open-air custom loop water cooling system featuring moddable and Corsair parts. If you want to see the full build video, check out the link in the description box below. Office might look done, but there's a few more things we should probably address. A good office requires good organization system, so we chose to go with the IKEA SCADA system as IKEA offers a lot of different parts for us to use. We used our handy dandy leveler to make sure that everything looked amazing to put it up. Wait till the end to see how we style it. Akko reached out to us and asked if they could gift us some keyboards for our new office setup, and of course we had to say yes. This is Akko's MU01 Mountain Seclusion with piano switches. And this is the MU01 Autumn with demon switches. And this is the Qinglong Akko Year of the Dragon keyboard with cream yellow magnetic switches. I love the amazing dragon detailing and I love that there's a knob. This boy is chunky. Akko also sent me this super kawaii cinema roll keyboard with piano switches. With the release of the MU01 keyboard, Akko also created these rosewood switches, which are designed to pair with the wooden framed keyboards. Let's swap them out to see what they sound like. Now that everything else in the office is in place, we have our parameters on where we can place the nano leaves. So let's put those up and then we'll be able to give you guys the final look. If you made it this far, please consider giving us a like and a subscribe. This video took us literal months to make, so we really appreciate just a little bit of support. Thank ya! Recycle me, reuse, reduce, recycle!